sorry, since you was living with me and you and you was going half with me. Even if I was going half with him with all the bills, I still have a lot of money. Like I, your bills was co like bills, but they wasn't that expensive to keep up with. If I'm making, when he was saying like, I help. Ew. It's like he be trying to make me feel guilty. <laughs> And visit to my my friends, my fa my fans, whatever. Uh -huh. Cause he got me fucked up. He, he took the I was drunk all the time with him to tolerate him so left. He made it seem like I don't know. He just the way he was sweet. He, he went wrong about it. Then he texted me saying so. I'm like, but you were just here, so like, us be adults, let's talk, like, but you were just here. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's be real, like, okay, you, okay, shorty over there, but. She was over here. <laughs> why are you spending 99% of your time over in my shit, as soon as you kick me out, like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we was cutting ties, we cutting money. He doing business with, he doing business with, I already do business with, who I already do business with, that's that. But all jokes aside, why are you playing like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't friends, like we ain't cool. Like we're cool enough to be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I was drunk a lot because of you. Cause if you really cared for me and if we was really having Good times, you'd be like, babe, we don't need a drink. We don't need a shot. You was encouraging drinking. You was, you know what I'm saying? I was sad as fuck. And then you know how my mental health is. I'm very emotional, erratic, crazy. Why would you, as my man, be okay with me drinking like that? You you was okay with that because what? You you was controlling me, you were facilitating all my bread. Just be honest. Like, okay, I'm not making hundreds of, hundreds of dollars. I'm making... <laughs> a couple millions of dollars, like, I, I, out of your house, off your couch type shit. Like, and I was cool with that, till... I'm gonna go bring my toothbrush. Right, I, I was brushing my teeth and shit. But not, y'all, I'm just saying, like, we, we're friends, we talk, we're cool, we're, we're very mutual, um... I love him to death. Whatever the ever the case may be, right? But my best times with him was me being pregnant and sober. And he's over in my space instead of me being in his space. Like when he when when we when we see each other and shit and he's over here and he's over here like Weeks at a time and shit, and you see how he's just quiet online. And I'm, but I've been, I've been in this positive field, like in my life. Like I don't want no negativity. Like I'm sorry that we had to end up like this, but I'm not sorry at all. I'm actually grateful that we was able to like separate. I'm grateful to be living somewhere very nice till my house is ready, till my car is ready, like, I'm okay, I'm not homeless, I'm not, like, there's times when I be like, yeah, I want to go home, yeah, I miss you, but I don't miss being disrespected, cheated on, ran over, and I'm making money for you, like, it's just a ripoff, I might as well just be somewhere where I got a lot of peace at, and that's by myself. So, that's what I was doing. That's what I'm doing. Like, okay, cool. Say say that I'm not over you or whatever, 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 whatever. I'm still okay. I'm still going over here handling my business, picking up my money, and nobody's telling me shit. Like, I'm okay. But I'm okay with being told. I'm okay with... Giving you everything. I'm okay with all that. But it's like, hold on. What the fuck is you even doing, though? You get what I'm saying? Like, what is you even doing, though? We ain't even cool enough to not beef offline. We ain't even cool enough for you to not put another bitch in our, our argument. 
Okay. I name drop because we be in fucking bullshit ass arguments about motherfuckers that ain't even looking my way like that for real. And then I'm just looking at him like, yo, I'm not giving them money. I'm not giving them shit. I'm not giving them pussy. So what's the beef with us? And then you be like, you know, his ego be sh whatever. Yeah. It be annoying as shit. It be annoying as shit. But I'm saying like. He might not like what, how things are. Like, he was telling me, he was saying, I don't like how shit is. And I'm like, me either. I mean, the only thing I don't like about this is that I'm pregnant and I'd be like, oh, I would love that happy old family, right? But when you put your big girl drawers on and you be fucking grown and very real with yourself, you have to be okay with being alone and being like loved the way you want to be loved. So say if he felt like I wasn't loving him the way I was supposed to, I'm not no fucking maid, no fucking servant, bro. I can't just always kiss your feet. When you gonna kiss mine? Like, oh, I'm, I'm, okay. Okay. I don't know what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? So, I be just trying to figure out why I'm beefing. Why is it so negative? Why everybody has to, and I ain't even throwing shots at nobody. I was just being honest, like, He like, I want to go back to what we was like, but you ain't did nothing for me to feel like we could ever go back to whatever. So I'm like, the only thing I could think of that I changed was putting my money in my name. And then when I go get a bucket, it was all cool, bro, at one point in time. I swear to God it was. Till, like, stop trying to shit on me when I could just fuck myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are we shitting on each other for? Like, then you gotta use another bitch to help you out with the shit in one part, like, that's cool. You need to ask yourself when it's my turn. Y'all like how viral you go on and how you go on with her, right? So when I put a nigga in position to be rock nigga, and I'm his bitch. Oh, baby. You thought this hurt me? <laughs> Then we have another baby father. Cause right after I cracked this one out, what's up? And then marry that nigga. Like, like I'm not I'm not gonna do or try to but that's what you're trying to prove and nobody I need to like come on y'all. Be for real. Real shit. Be for real. Get into the merch though. Link in bio. He mad because he. And it's the thing, I'm not saying he need my money. He got plenty of money. That's the part I don't get. You got everything. Why the fuck? Like, you got everything. Yeah, and it took forever for me to get my license, so yeah. I could have probably been had a call, but it's just like, why well, I gotta wait on somebody that wanna want me to wait on them like that? Like, you, bro, you're petty. What the fuck? Then he trying to tell me I spent every money I made because I don't even spend money. I don't. I don't. I don't get luxurious clothes. I got a couple chains and a watch. 
That ain't nothing to compare to what I made. What else? And bracelets. I'm grateful for those things. Amen to that. But don't try to use those gifts as manipulation like, oh, you know you spent, what? An Uber. Oh, yeah, for food. So I eat, I Uber, I got a couple chains. That ain't shit to what I made. So it was just like, and it's nothing about what I made. It's what we made. Okay, what we made. It's a we thing. I just don't understand. And then I don't understand. Like, yeah, you don't need me. You don't need my money. You don't. But why was I financially abused? Why was I? Like, it's certain things I want to say and talk about. But I don't want to get too technical because I'm going to ruin his image. No, nigga, we're talking about it because you want to talk about it. You want to tweet about it. You want to cry about it. Let's talk about it. You're going to go... No, it's not that. I'm saying, of course, we're cool. We have to stay cool. So, yeah, we're cool. But we ain't that cool like we used to be. Like, every time he, if I see him, and he drunk, right? He try to make me feel bad at what happened. Like, he always be like, yeah, but you did this to us. You did this to us. You did this to us. And I'm looking at him, so what the fuck did you do? He said, all I did was cheat. If you get an 80% good nigga, 80%? You didn't give me 80%? What the fuck? You gave me what you gave me on schoolyard. And you gave me schoolyard. You didn't give me Jonathan Porter. You didn't. Okay. Okay. We get it. Like, I can't hear him talking back in my head. So I'm just like, let me stop. <sighs> Like, I don't know. Okay, let me be honest. So we got this little thing, right? <laughs> so since he been at, okay, since, since you know, I've been moved, I moved out the house, you know, he moved his family in or whatever, right? So, um, every time I have these, like, uh, panic attacks, because I'm going to be honest, I'll be having panic attacks, I'll be feeling like I'm scared and shit, and he, uh, that's what I'm saying. He's not all bad. He's not all bad. I be having these panic attacks, and I'll pull up in a black truck out front of the house, and then wait. The truck will pull off, and I'll wait till he pull out his driveway for me to get in his car. And then I'll see whoever in the window looking at me, and I'll get right in the car, and we come to my shit. And... <laughs> What I, what, the reason why I say that is because, like, it's something real there, bro. <laughs> like, 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 this nigga love me, yo. <laughs> like, like, right now, right now, like, say I, I take the line, I get in the car, I go to wherever he's at. And I'm like, Blue, I need you. No. I don't care who you with, what you doing, what you doing. Right now. He just say all right. That's that's one thing I do love about him. <laughs> like, is this? I don't know. I don't know. How, I don't know what that is. Cause it been times when like yeah, I'm doing a lot on my own, but it's getting so overwhelming because I haven't did this on my own shit in a minute, right? So I have like like PTSD or something like, I don't know. I'll be like, and the only person that could calm me down is like what I love and I love him so much. It just, it helps. I'm like, I don't feel nauseous no more. I don't, it's just, I just need a hug. And it's not any old hug. It's a hug from him. That's the weird part. So then we put on this live front on the ground. I don't even know what for. Because a long ass time ago, right? We 
before it got real bad, I used to ask him, like, what's up? What's in your world? Like, I used to ask him about, I ain't even going to get into that. I might want to get, we, we might go live and talk about that together then. So, but Lord, hey, be Simone. I'm talking about some bullshit over here. Oops. But, uh, oh, codependency? What's codependency? What's codependency? Like when you depend on somebody? Or, is codependency, codependency a spiritual thing? Because, I can't. Only reason why I start, started the way I started the conversation was because, like, I saw his tweets and they pissed me off. Like, boy, why are you tweeting like that? Why are you wanting them people like that? What are you doing? Because we are moving on, but I'm not spitefully moving on. I'm spitefully moving. You know, I'm not spitefully moving. I'm, I'm moving like gracefully like okay while you spitefully moving i'm gonna just make sure all like everything i have to get done get done on krishan like you know krishan this is your responsibility da, 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 da. Like, take care of that take care of that so i start taking care of my responsibilities and kind of like kind of fake drawing a line like no you can't take care of that for me because it wasn't it wasn't even taken care of. It was just <sighs> codependency is like you're thinking for yourself and not what a what you say, Scotty. You all like stop talking about him. No. Fuck, he won't stop talking about me. I mean, I, okay, that's the other thing. I started this because if I didn't tweet what I said about drinking a lot, he wouldn't have done all that other shit. But it's like, I'm sorry, but I'm being honest. Like, why didn't you, hey, babe, you don't got to drink. Let me eat your pussy. What you mad about? What you, what's hurting you? He didn't know that I'm drinking. It's just like, I don't know, bro. I know, like, I, uh, I ain't even trying to say what I know because I'm going to be quiet. But I just know that shit ain't right. Yeah. <laughs> like that, bro. No, in the beginning, okay, in the beginning before we was like real relationships, like we was in relationships, like before we was in a relationship, he used to tell me, why you acting like I'm the only nigga you want to fuck with, da, da, you should have friends, you should have friends. So I was like, all right, fuck it. So I had a couple people that, like, like just people I kept in cahoots with, like just being cool with them. They, they cool, they, I'm attracted to them, but. It ain't not so much, yeah. So, but we texting and shit. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure them out. They trying to figure me out. Ooh, wow, well, wow. Well. So it got to a point. Like I remember one day he checked my phone. He wasn't okay with that, and I was just like, "But you just told me I can't have friends." Well, now you my bitch. You can't no, no, that, 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 that. On school y'all crib, right? So I'm like, oh, okay, okay. So then I started saying, oh no, so he cut back on a lot of shit, but it wasn't enough for me. Just like as if it wasn't enough for him. Like, he like, I went from five to seven to like one and you, or one or two to you. 
Okay. Let's see how that worked. It didn't work at all. So when it didn't work out, I'm the bad guy. Like, what the fuck? But then the speaking and geeking and shit, it's like kind of confusing because like, how we sneaking and geeking and um, stealing our feelings? That's not sneaking and geeking. I don't even think sneaking and geeking is natural. Like it's toxic as fuck too. It's not good for the brain, body, spirit, mind. Nothing. It's sneaking and geeking. You're sneaking and geeking about it. Like that shit is not funny at all. But since I made that tweet, he cut me off for good now. He said he's going to stay away from me. <laughs> and I'm okay. That's fine. Because, like, when we used to get in beats, right, he used to be like, yeah, I might not be home tonight. Yeah, he used to flex like he ain't coming home. But the only thing, it was the only reason why I was hurting me because it was his shit. But if it was my shit and he said he's not coming to me to my shit, cool. You don't gotta be in my shit. Uh, but it was hitting different because I'm over there with like it's just weird, y'all. And then it's like I did like I like having a man and all this other shit. But I love being single because it's healthier that way. Because even when I was in a cahoot relationship with him, no, we're not here to bash blue. We just here to just talk about some shit. So look. I don't know. We just have a, a weird relationship. He has my back and I have his. He said I don't have his and he ain't know I do. <laughs> he just don't like want to say I do, but I do. He like, well, you wanted to be all the way. You wanted to be somewhere. Cause you remember them texts I exposed and it's like, he's telling me to come here. And then he's like, matter of fact, fuck that. You can just leave, right? While he's telling me to come here, while he's doing all that fake begging, he's not begging, bro. He's he's trying to see if he can still be like, check your DM. All right, babe, I'm gonna check my DM. Yeah, we are supposed to make out. I was supposed to jump on that baby daddy uh, track you just did with your fake belly, and I got a real one. Why would you do one? We could do one tomorrow. Let's do it. Anyway, let's get back to my story. But I'm gonna check my DM. But um. <laughs> that video is so funny. But I'm saying like we uh it just didn't make sense, okay? Like he's begging me to be somewhere, right, with him. I'm like, if you felt like that 24 8, 24-7, like and then didn't feel like you had to see such and such or be with such and such when it's time to be with such and such. That's all cool. Me, I'm like, they can have that shit. They can just have the whole trip, the whole house arrest situation with you. Like, I ain't coming. I'm gonna go get some money. And, and it's not about money. I'm just gonna distract myself in a positive way. You hear me? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna distract myself in a positive way and just not crash out because I can't take no shot. I can't do no gangster shit, like pull up, like, all right, someone. When I pulled up, right, I ain't really tell you about this. I'm gonna do this on somebody, somebody podcast. That's another story. That's a big story. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say for no, no for sure podcast. It'll be some on them. I'm gonna talk to them about what really happened to me. What was so devastated, but not devastated at the same time because God ordered my step. So this nigga trying to play with me, right? Oh, I don't see. I'm ready 
take it off and check my hand real quick, cause and two, I'm gonna eat this ice cream. <coughs> three. But we both, this one thing we do agree on, we both hate the fact that we fuck with each other the way we do because at any given moment we will say fuck the person that's, we will say fuck that person for, for our toxic shit. Like, say if I, I'm doing something positive, say if I'm, say if I'm on set or say if I'm working, right? And I got to be there because they already paid me. But if he hit me up, we'll say fuck that for him. He been saying lately I've been cho choosing up, so I don't do that no more. But it's like he, he, I don't know if that's like a, a trick or what, because it's like, bro, hold on. I don't be getting it. I've been drinking my H2O. That's all I've been drinking. H2O. But I'm about to get in the pool, honestly. It's my pool. Alright, let me show you the pool. It's so hot, it's so pretty too. Oh, the jet's off. But it's cool. Yeah, no, I love the pool. I love that shit so bad. Oh. Oh, the Oreo shit? Okay, cool. Oh, look at that. That's it. Oh, look what you want, one? You want a piece of ice cream, bro? But, um, yeah, like, more my speed, more my speed. All right, bro. I'm, I'm on more my speed, too. Uh, Hey, Darrell. But, um, I just wanted some ice cream, y'all. I gotta be careful how I'm gonna eat this right here. I'm gonna know you eat this right here because I might make a mess. I ain't making a mess. Everything is white in here. So I should just eat it over the sink. I can just, yeah. Throw it over the sink. What type of ice? What? What type of Oreo ice? Look. You know how the Oreo ice cream be having the shit that, um, it's on top? It look like it's melted in. This one look right. All right, I'm done running my mouth about my baby, but my baby father. I was trying to leave it alone, but it's like every time, I just feel like you can say anything and that's what it is. Like, boy, shut the fuck up. Stop fucking lying. Before you write anything, you should be like, in my opinion,
Oh, here, tell me why. Have a gross stomach? Scars I have, they ain't stretch marks. They from just being rough as fuck. Like, I be cutting myself. That ain't a stretch mark. I burnt myself with butter. Like, I don't have no stretch marks. I'm so happy that I don't. It tastes a little too sweet for me. It's not the right one. I like the um, strawberry one. But look, I'm about to hang out from y'all. To everybody, I said I love them. I just know we really beefing because I never said. <laughs> Because I was scared to be honest about how I really felt like I right. Cause he was making me feel bad. He's like, no, I'm like, you don't fuck with yourself. <laughs> it's like, I right, know we be talking about fixing things, right? But you could tell he can't. <laughs> That's another live, huh? <laughs> okay, let me talk about this tattoo. So I was trying to go all the way through with getting it removed, right? It take like over a year for it to like, like it's a year process. Not like oh next week is uh, every six months or it's a couple years process to get all this off of me. So I'm like Like, it got a scab up, it bleeds. It Bro, I looked up a girl that got her neck shit. I looked up exactly what I'm going through. Not, she had no face stuff, but she had something else. She had a big one, and then she, it was really dark. And mine's really big, and it's really dark up here where the hair is. And basically, hers took a year and a half. And I'm not ready to do that because the first couple months of her doing all that shit, it looked disgusting, bro. It looked worse than eczema. It looked like your skin got burnt by a pot, but times 80,000. The healing process is whatever, but she said she couldn't move her neck as much. And I'm trying to get all this. I'm trying to get this, that. She only was getting this removed. Like this part of her neck removed. I'm trying to get the whole shit removed. Only thing I'm keeping is my butterfly. I mean, the face that is so cute. That's why I hope it's a boy girl. My name is fucking baby Jonathan. It's like, <laughs> so I can keep this with. <coughs> Man, I need to fucking remove this. But I don't take relationships serious no more to the point where I don't see myself in another relationship serious at all. I don't see myself <coughs> with another man. It's so annoying. Like, I think my husband is not in America. He like overseas or something. And I never traveled overseas yet. So, I mean, I went to London, but them niggas ugly as shit. But, uh... Long story short, babes. 
I can't. I don't know. Because look. Okay, I know when I drop the baby, my stomach go flat. I work out, get my butt back. Yeah. I still mentally, spiritually, emotionally can't see myself with another man. I could barely see myself with blue face. So it's like that whole test run of, of geeking around and fucking around and that ain't my lane. Then I had relationships that I was in when I was really stuck in in high school, right? I got bored with them and left them. In my situation, so fucked up with him, I got bored with it and left. You get it? So I'm like, Maybe there's, I got, I don't know. Basically, I don't believe there's probably real love out there. I mean, I, I, I believe, like, for me personally, I'm trying to think. Because I don't believe that, but I believe that. Like, I believe, like, I, for example, I could see a cute nigga, right? You know, it don't move me. Like, I would try to, like, engage in it. I would try to, like, see where it would go, right? And I know damn for sure it's not going to go nowhere because it's not. Whatever. I think I had my one and done fun with Blueface. That's it. And then that's it. I don't really see myself. That's why he over there trying to pretend. But he ain't pretending though. That's why I can tell him like, yo, if we don't really like each other, we don't really like each other. That's okay. That's fine, like. We could be friends. But I don't think niggas believe in friends when you got good pussy on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't belong in this world. It's so like not my world. You know? Like, like, like I'm an alien and I'm not getting with all the the fake phony shit. Is you people keep saying focus on your bitch, I am focusing on me. I'm saying Okay, when there's a time when <laughs> look, it's crazy because this is my prayer book and I'm looking down and it's long story short. I know there's love out there. It's just, I'd rather love myself. <laughs> Real shit, I don't know. <laughs> Check these emails, check these emails, check all type of shit. <sighs> Go look at this car. Just go do adult things, you feel me? But have a blessed day, guys. Um, I'm gonna call y'all back. Okay. And then it's crazy. I can't lay on my stomach. How I want to lay on my stomach. I can't even. I can't even do it.
almost too big. Bye-bye, y'all. Call you later.